Hey guys, this is Sakshi and I heartily welcome you all to Books with Sakshi. I hope you all are doing great. Today in this video, I am going to recommend you an amazing book which I came across recently and the book is Maroon in a Sky of Blue which is written by author Girish Tath Shukla. It's absolutely an amazing book, especially for people who enjoy reading young adult fiction, people who enjoy or at least like i would say uh reading you know emotional stuff this is definitely one of those books which uh, which was very heart wrenching very heart warming for me personally and if you're following me since a long time you know this that i don't easily call any book a heart wrenching or a heart warming read unless it actually is so you can just you know make an assumption at least that this book is actually amazing it's going to you know um, maybe shatter your heart with its story because the storyline the narration is so strong that i'm so shocked happily to know that this is the debut book by the author it's so amazing if you have loved reading books like you know the fault in our stars and some you know popular and tragic love stories you know some tragic um, plots you will definitely love reading this so what the book is about obviously the characters in this book uh, have names which i have never heard before so i may pronounce them maybe in a wrong manner but anyway the story is about owner who is actually a school going guy and he is very you know reserved not a shy kind of a person but kind of an introvert who doesn't like to socialize much and his only uh, friends are palchin and levin I hope I'm pronouncing the names rightly because I've never heard of these names before and um, he only has these two best friends and Levin and Owner ha like they share a very beautiful bond of friendship and I you know because of this reason only I like this book more because you know, nothing in this book is cliched or something you know which is very unrealistic everything in this book is very realistic something you know you'll actually connect to it there is you know the depth of emotions and depth in almost everything you'll not find things only on a surface level if you are someone who wants to you know read something which is um um in depth as far as emotions are concerned in depth um in terms of storyline and you know everything then this book is the best read for you because nothing you know has been discussed in this book just on a surface level you will actually be lost in the world which author has created back to the square owner only has palchin and levin and he secretly loves palchin so you know they are still in the school when owner actually develops feeling for palchin and they are actually you know best friends for quite a long time but owner is so afraid just like every teenager to express his feelings what really happens in the book is something which you will discover in this book will owner be able to express his feelings toward palchin how levin actually helps owner in you know um um uh, making his first move in this love life what exactly happens but you know the main thing which comes here is that this is not the whole story this is just you know a part of the story this book is not that cliche or typical love story of you know teenagers first of all you know i have not read any indian author a uh, debut indian indian author who is actually you know discussing about teenage love or at least a phase of uh, you know teenagers or what all they go through so this was my very first experience of reading indian author more than a young adult fiction this story also has you know touched upon the topic of psychology and a disorder which i won't name here because that would be a spoiler if i say after some time owner actually comes across a girl named zia and they instantly you know have a very strong bond between them because uh somewhere they both suffered not suffered like they somewhat have a similar kind of a past which actually you know uh helps them in uh, having an instant connection between them so what exactly will happen when owner and zia will meet how their friendship will you know flourish the day comes when owner is actually introduced with the reality of zia now on the cover it is written that reality is an illusion and the illusion is real 
something is hap- going to happen with Zia and Onir, which is really going to, you know, shake the trust, the belief of Onir about Zia. Is Zia for real? Or is there something, you know, mysterious about that girl, which Onir is going to discover in this book? So, you know, that is how the theme of psychology also comes in this book. So that is why I said that this book is obviously a young adult fiction with a touch of psychology in it. So this book overall is so informative, is so engaging and it will really take you through each and everything. It's not like, you know, as I said that, you know, discussing everything just on a surface level. But when a character actually, you know, goes through pain, you also, you know, feel it. When a character is actually, you know, very happy, very, uh, you know, cheerful, you also experience the same joy. The book is that great. The writing style need less to say that it is amazing. It is definitely for both beginners and avid readers. So, you know, it's not restricted to just certain class of people for reading. It can be read by almost everyone. Also, after every chapter, there's one poem uh, as soon as the chapter ends. And, you know, it was such a great feeling to finish the chapter and then read that poem. I feel that the things which are there in this book, like um, death and um, mental health, depression, these things are, you know, uh, they are discussed on a very, you know, deep level i would say and they may be triggering for some people so if this is something that really triggers you then i don't recommend you to read this book but other than that if you can you know just just you know go through these things and you know just enjoy and you know just see the whole point behind this book then i will definitely recommend you to read this book it is really a very brilliant work done by debut author the language everything is just so amazing and you'll find so much of hope so much of you know inspiration to um you know move on in your life not from just a relationship but you know in general you will find so much of inspiration from this book so i highly recommend this book to teenagers to people who are young adults to everyone um i would say who love to read um you know such kind of books it is truly an amazing book definitely go ahead and get this book for yourself if you would be interested in reading this book in the caption i'll mention instagram handle of author you can go you can check out his profile you can check out the link in his bio and you can buy a book from there as well but go and get this book ace up for you